Hello and welcome back to the Stubbs Gaming YouTube channel where you can find gaming videos, reviews, podcasts. Please subscribe and press the like button and press the notification bell to be notified when a new video or podcast goes live. Today I am reviewing Paradise Lost which was developed by Polaramus Games and published by All In Games and this was released on 24th of March 2021 on the PlayStation 4, Xbox One and PC for full transparency. I was kind of given a review code for this game thank you. I have also played this game on the Xbox Series X. Paradise Lost. The war persisted for 20 more years, only to end in flames when the Nazis launched nuclear missiles on, the, on most of Europe. In the aftermath, the heart of Europe remained shrouded in mystery of a complete destruction and deadly radiation inaccessible to the rest of the world. You play as Simon, a 12 year old boy who's discovered a massive Nazi bunker while wandering the barren nuclear wasteland of Poland after his mother's death. He's searching for an unknown man from a photograph his mother cherished. Who is he? Will, will you be able to find him? Paradise Lost is what you call a walking simulator. It's not a game I've ever tried before. Yeah, so it was, that was a very different experience for me. It was quite freaky because it's, it's quite a dark and gritty game. I would compare it to a game like kind of like Bioshock, the darkness of it. If you're looking for an action packed game, you've come to the wrong place. This is the wrong game. There is no action in this game, apart from the brief few interactions you do get in the game. Don't get me wrong, the interactions are good because it breaks up the game because you're literally walking through an abandoned bunker, a Nazi bunker in Poland. So it breaks it up from that, that aspect. Once you finally get to the end of the game, you would understand more about the story. It's a very twisted and weird, dark, mysterious story, which is well worth seeing through to the end if you ask me. Yes, it is boring in places, but graphically it is amazing and stunning in some aspects, but there are certain sections of the game where you can tell not as much attention to detail has been paid graphically and animations wise because it can get quite clunky. Overall I enjoyed this game. Uh, this game is on the Xbox £12.49 and over on Steam £11.39. On this channel I don't go by review scores like 7, 9, 10, 12 etc. I've gone for a scoring system that works slightly different. Um, definite purchase, wait till it's on sale or not for me. Now usually this game wouldn't be my type of game, walking simulators ain't my kind of genre. But this has been quite a relaxing game, okay it's been tense in places, scary in places but overall I've enjoyed my experience and for the price I would say it's a definite purchase for me so thank you for supplying me with the review code if you've enjoyed this video and review please comment down below and give me some constructive feedback and tell me how I can improve my reviews for future reference if you've enjoyed this chat this video please press the like button and please subscribe I'm trying to get to 1000 subs this year it'd be amazing to get there but I do love doing this channel it's great I love doing the shows we we game and stuff's cast will be returning soon but please can you like subscribe and press the bell notification button. Thanks, Stubbs Gaming out.